Now that all of our ingredients are added to the pint and mixed, we can put the lid on and add it to the freezer for 24 hours. What are you doing? I'm trying to do that snap transition thing on YouTube. You know, you snap and then 24 hours have passed immediately. No, you have to have 10,000 subscribers for that to work. 10,000 subscribers? I thought that was Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. Well, a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship also can make the snap thing work. Oh, well, what are we going to do? We don't have 10,000 subscribers and that's a big part of the video. I'm, no, I'm sorry. But I think I have an idea. Oh, really? Yes but we're gonna have to go back in time and change something. What if I told you I got in the best shape of my life eating ice cream every day? In 2021, the protein ice cream craze of YouTube was in full effect and I was all over it. There was just one problem. After eating a delicious pint of protein ice cream, my stomach would blow up to the size of a balloon and leave me feeling terrible the rest of the evening. Also, let's be honest, most protein ice cream recipes you see on YouTube are not really ice cream. They're a thick protein shake. Thankfully, I was able to find a solution that still allowed me to enjoy delicious protein ice cream that I craved without all the negative side effects. Enter the Ninja Creamy. This miracle device has changed the healthy ice cream game. It allows you to turn any dairy or fruity liquid into a smooth, scoopable ice cream masterpiece. Today, I wanna to show you an easy Ninja Creamy recipe that is 33 grams of protein and under 300 calories for the entire pint. Some ingredients you'll need to make it are a Fairlife chocolate protein shake, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, some black cocoa powder, a sweetener of your choice, I like this monk fruit Splenda blend, some table salt, some coffee creamer of your choice for flavoring, and finally for our mixing, we're gonna use a Fiber One brownie. Now that we have all ingredients, we can start adding them to the custom Ninja Creamy pint. We'll start with our Fairlife protein shake. Next, we'll add our two grams of table salt. Next, we'll add our one serving of coffee creamer. And then we'll go to a scale here to add our monk fruit. Set it to grams. And we need eight grams of this. Perfect. Then we're gonna go in with four grams of black cocoa powder. Make sure when you add the cocoa powder, you use a spoon, because if you don't, you will spill it and your wife will get angry. Lastly, we will fill the rest of the line up to the max line with almond milk. And that is all of our ingredients. Now that we have all our ingredients in the pint, we can start mixing all together with our hand mixer. This is a milk frother that I got from Amazon for about $10. You can stir your creamy with a spoon, but I tend to find it mixes a lot more evenly when you use one of these. I wanna make sure to get all the sides and the edges. Now that all of our ingredients are added to the pint and mixed, we can put the lid on and add it to the freezer for 24 hours. Guys, have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? It's this mobile game where you can be a troll or a wizard or something. You collect swords and like kill dragons with them. And then I think if you play long enough, you can get gold and like maybe the gold will turn into the next NFT or something. Think that's enough? Probably, well, let's try it. All right. 
Did it work? Well, uh, kind of. Good enough, let's move on. Then after 24 hours, our mixture is all frozen and ready to blend. After it's out of the freezer, it's gonna look frozen like a solid block. You're gonna probably thinking that'll never be ice cream, but just you wait. This is where the magic happens. Put it into the blend device. Securely fasten the lid. Click it in place. We hit power on. And for our application, we want to use the light ice cream function. Now that it's done blending, we can take it out. I click the lid off. And it's getting there, not quite ice cream yet, but don't worry, we're gonna do a mix in and re-spin it. Today, we're gonna be mixing in a fiber one brownie. Some other mixins I've tried are chocolate chips and cereal. If you think something would sound good in ice cream, just try mixing it in, it'll probably be good. Everything I've tried so far has to come out amazing. I like to put the brownie on a plate and take a knife and cut it into small chunks. After that's done, we need to take a butter knife and carve out a crater into the middle of our ice cream. which leaves you with this on your knife and it gives you a great time to sample it. Every time. Okay. Now we start adding the bits into the crater. You wanna get them all mixed down in there good because get them down to the bottom because we want this mixed all throughout the ice cream. Now that our mix is added to the hole, we put the lid back on for one more spin and this time, we want to do power on again, and we're going to use the mix in function. This takes about half the time as the original blend. All right, the mix in blend is done. It's finally time to enjoy our ice cream. So we're going to click it down, and take the lid off, and see what we have here. Look at that. Beautiful, creamy, fluffy ice cream with brownie bits. Well, what do we all know about protein ice cream? It has to pass the blizzard test, right? Magic. Beautiful ice cream. So I usually eat it directly out of the pint. Hmm. It gets me every time, delicious. I usually eat it directly out of the pint, but you can also scoop it into a bowl and it'll be scoopable, fluffy balls of ice cream. Let's see how it goes. Looks like regular ice cream to me. You would not believe when you tried this that it was under 300 calories and 33 grams of protein for the entire pint. Most pints of ice cream are over 1,000 calories. So I know what you're probably gonna say next. Scott, the creamy looks awesome, but it's $200. That's too expensive. Well, I was able to get mine on the secondhand market, brand new in the box, for $125. In fact, let's check the secondhand market right now to see what we can find. Here we are, Facebook Marketplace. Got one brand new for $90, $100, $120, $100 to $100. You get the picture. So I think it's worth buying full price, but if you can't find one or don't want to pay full price, check online first. All right, so wrapping up here, we wanted to say a big thank you for the support of our last video. Uh, we had a call for likes on that and you guys ended up tripling our like goal. So thanks a lot for that. We really appreciate it. We have a home gym tips video in the works that's coming to you soon. In the meantime, uh, if you could give this video a like, we'd really appreciate it if you like the content. Comment below your favorite protein ice cream recipe or just recipe flavor, ice cream flavor in general. Uh, and be sure to get subscribed for us. If you subscribe, we can get to our goal and do the snap thing right next time. We wanna make good quality videos for you guys. So if you can do that, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one soon. Have a good one.